conditions. We talked about this yesterday. Tuberculosis, AIDS, HIV. Uh, people have hepatitis C. Uh, there are people who are claustrophobic. They've got mental illnesses. My God, many of the people who commit crimes are mental. Exactly. And well, those that, people, those people go to crime. jail and they do their time and that's it. Exactly. And I don't know where they get off saying this thing special treatment. I mean, like I said, again, they wouldn't be sending me home. I'm sure you're right. Yeah, and that other guy that uh, lost his balls in his girlfriend's purse calling in with all that sympathy, he needs to go get him back. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to just let him borrow a pink purse so at least he can carry him around with him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. I love you, Tom. I'm glad you caught up with us again. It's Tom on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Great. Good to uh, finally get through. Um, I love what you do. I've uh, listened to you a long time. Um, you know, your your thoughts on life, on finances, on relationships, all that stuff. I mean, you're, you're right on. You, you just get to the black and white of things, and you stand for the right stuff. Unfortunately, the last couple of days, I've had a little issue when I've toned in because of this Paris Hilton stuff, man. Um I, I just, um, I mean, I'm not ripping you, but I'm just kind of like having concerns with you spending all this quality time on a idiot like Paris Hill. Well, this you, is this is the number one story in America. I know, Tom, and you know what? The number one show in this country is American Idol, and you said that was the biggest problem with this. No country. doubt about it. But in this particular case, and by the way, we generally don't talk about Paris Hilton. We rarely talk about Lindsay Lohan or Britney Spears or any of these. Okay, but know, this Tom. particular case, there's something more to it, and what there is to it is that there is somebody getting favorable treatment from the justice system. But it's a much more you know, serious story than any other story about Paris Hilton. Exactly, but Paris Hilton is a complete, and besides her sex video, she's a complete antithesis of what you all about the more, you all for. the more reason why she should be treated like everybody else. Oh, I know, but she the only accomplishment in her life is coming out of the birth canal of a rich parent. I mean, that's the only thing. This all is the more just, reason why she should be treated like everyone else and not getting out of jail on mysterious circumstances. But Tom, you giving her all this play is like you know. I didn't, like, I'm giving it play. It's the number one story in America. Do you really think that uh, that all the play is coming from this show? Well, no, but I'm saying. Do you know that I'm, I'm looking? You know what I'm looking at right now? You know what I'm looking at right now? Hardball with Chris Matthews and the Hardball Show. What do they talk about? Hardball politics, right? Chris Matthews politics, Hardball. They play Hardball, and there's a picture of Paris Hilton's driveway. It's on there right now, right now. Everybody is talking about this story. And if you knew, if you knew more about this than I do, you'd be sitting down here doing the show and not calling in. Christ's sake. Anton on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Anton. Oh, big fan. Listen to you for over 10 years. Thank, Thank you. you. Everything. Well, I'm excited personally. This is the biggest, this is the best way Paris Hilton could have gone down in flames. I'm excited. I love every second of it. I'm heading home pretty soon. I'm going to crack open a beer, watch this whole spectacle unfold itself. I hate Paris Hilton with a passion. And I'm glad she finally got her up and coming. I'm just beyond excited about it. Can't believe it. So happy. I know. I'm enjoying it. And uh, most men I know are enjoying it. Uh, most straight men I know are enjoying it. And oh, yeah. uh, by the same token, though, I've talked to women. They go, oh, that's kind of sad. Isn't it? Don't you think that's kind of sad? No. Yeah, I mean... I, I want to thank you, Tom. You helped me get out of a two-and-a-half-year relationship that was just boring as hell. Moved on. And my ex made me watch everything that involved Paris Hilton. And I developed this sense of pure hatred for her. And watching this, I'm just like, oh, this is wonderful. For all the time she made, like, she, for the episodes of Simple Life, stuff like that, this is just, I'm like, thank you. Best ratings, probably better than all the Simple Life seasons put together. I'm just happy, happy for that one. Wow, well, uh, and this has been some of the most entertaining television I've seen in a while today, i got to tell you. Oh, I tell you what, I'm super excited. But, um, hey, Tom, can you take me out Paris Hilton style with a thank you, Jesus? What would that be? Paris Hilton style with a gavel dropping and a baby crying. Uh, do we have anything? Was that, well, I think we have a baby crying is what we do have here. <laughs> it's 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. 
Let's say hello here to William on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. I love this. This is just the greatest thing. You know, I'm sick of people saying that, you know, she's getting a harsher treatment, and it's just, like, totally bugging me right now. Because you know what? You know what she did? You know why she deserves this, right? Why? Because you know what? For her hearing, she came in late, like in, like two hours late, I believe, and then pleaded ignorance. Ignorance. To, to well, to, if Paris Hilton pleads ignorance, I'd say it's uh, pretty believable, wouldn't you think? Tom. Like us. 1-800-5800-TOM. Hey, guess what? I lost my virginity today, Tom. I got flashed. Tell me the story. Okay, I was heading north on the five freeway at some women's flash. And as they passed me up, I saw the secret Biola. Biola's Bible Institute of Los Angeles. <laughs> this is college shit. And they have big boobs, too. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Wide open telephones on this Flash Friday. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, with all that going on, Paris Hilton. Back to jail, ordered back to jail by the judge, who said he never signed off on her getting out, wearing an ankle bracelet. Dimitri on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dimitri. I have a quick question, uh, something more important than the Paris Hilton issue, and that's for all the guys out there, and is when are you going to release a book with all your teachings? This is something we, we've been talking about uh, for quite some time, and I'm hoping to get that done. I mean, we, we know uh, it's on the Internet. It's on your website, blow me up top, uh, at dot com. We have all your advice on there, but sometimes we like something handheld so we can quickly have some a reference of some sort, and we're just wondering if you have an ETA on that date or not. Uh, my ETA is uh, not ready yet uh, because uh, we don't have a deal yet, but uh, it is something that we have been talking about. Oh, that's great. That's great. And if uh, if you can, just blow, blow me up. And, of course uh, I can. You're doing a great service to all men, and uh, you have a great day out there. Thank you. You too. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Edith on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Um, uh, my name is Edith. Um, I just had a quick, uh, you know, a quick comment about the whole thing with Paris Hilton. I've been to jail before. I've been in Twin Towers, and when I was sick, they put me in the medical ward. So she should have just stayed in there, did the time, and been and been done with it. Right but now, it just made it look worse for her. And then, you know, it's just the whole thing of just like, okay, she has chlamydia or whatever it is. You know, wait, I mean, who said she? Had, wait, wait, parents, wait! Did I miss something? Who said she had chlamydia? I mean, this, what people were just talking about, you know, she had some kind of... No, disease. people are speculating. Uh, they, nobody has said yet what her secret medical condition is. Uh-huh. But, so well, we don't know what she has. Okay. Well, you know, that's what they were just saying. So my thing is, is, like, if she has anything wrong with her, they do have a medical ward in there, you know. So, I mean, she should just do the time, be done with it, and just move on. But as far as the two suspended license and stuff, I mean, her parents should have did something. You know, before it even went this far. Well, let's start so with think, this. If you're a quote unquote heiress mm -hmm. living in a quote unquote mansion, uh -huh. how about you hire a quote unquote chauffeur? Right. Yeah, that's true. That's what she should have had that too. You, you know? know? And it falls all on her. So a lot of people say she got what she deserved. I think she got what she deserved. But then again, she should have been more adult about it. And her parents should have been also held accountable for that too because. They allowed it, you know, drinking and driving. I mean, she could have killed somebody. Well, Paris Hilton is an adult, and really, her, it's not her parents' problem. Uh, the, the way the parents come in is they raised a little brat. Yeah, that, too. Who yeah. thinks that she's above the law and uh, thinks yeah. that uh, she should be able to do things the rest of us can't. Right. That's true. Well, that's just my comment. So, I mean, I know a lot of people are listening like, all over the state and stuff, but I just think that, you know... She actually got what she deserved, but she should have stayed in there versus getting out and then going back to court, having to go back in. So now she's probably going to have to do the full amount of time, and, you know, that's just all on her now. So she maybe she will learn from this, you know, not to drink and drive and drive with a suspended license. Well, if she doesn't, hopefully other people learn from this, specifically celebrities. 
true. I hope yeah. before Lindsay Lohan gets behind the wheel again that she pays attention to what's going on here. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Because well, she's next on the list. Well, actually, Nicole Richie is next on the list for driving backwards down the 134 freeway, but uh, then Lindsay Lohan. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that, but see, now that's good to know. <laughs> I have to watch who, you know, where I'm driving now. But, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, make a comment that she should be more responsible. Maybe she will wake up and, you know, maybe they should just take her license for about a year. I know they do that, too, so maybe they – and, the, and then the person who let her go or release her, they should be held accountable, too. Well, that's uh, – we were hearing the possibility that uh, Sheriff Lee Baca will be held in contempt of court. I see no evidence that that happened today. Thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, John. How you doing, buddy? Great. Good. You know, I, I hear all these people complaining about it. I just think that uh, they should drop it already. I mean, it's kind of old news, you know? Well, it's not old news. This just happened a few hours ago. Well, it just happened. I know they're taking her back to jail, but, I mean, they already let her out once, so why not just leave it at that? I mean, she served five days. I mean... Because the judge said she's not entitled to any electronic monitoring, not entitled to go to a glamour slammer where you get to pay to stay in a nice place for the uh, period of time, uh, no to weekends out, no to going to work and coming back to jail at night. It was very specific. Yeah, but Tom, I mean, everybody it was very specific. The judge made that order. And by the way, Paris Hilton had the right to appeal the judge's decision, and she didn't. Correct. But the sheriff also did say that you could serve up to 10 percent of your time. I don't care what the sheriff said. The judge said no. Hey, I'm just saying, man. I, mean, I don't care what the sheriff said. The sheriff is not a judge. He's an elected official and he's not the judge. Correct, but I mean, if you went to jail here, I, I know here in Phoenix with Sheriff Arpaio, uh I actually had a friend that was sentenced to 10 days and only served one day. So that Well, is Sheriff Arpaio has been on television a lot the last couple of days, and what he's been saying, whether it's true or not, is that uh, what happened with Paris Hilton would never happen under his watch. Yeah, but I mean, I also think that he's a publicity stunt. I mean, he's the king of that. I mean, the first thing that he did was offer up to have Paris Hilton come stay here. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous to have him say that, you know? It's just well, here, I have, the, uh, I have the judge's order right here. And he wrote it. He wrote it. He hand-wrote it. It says here, I'm reading from it. No work furlough. No work release. No electronic monitoring. No weekends. No city jail. It says it right here. How could she work? She has no job. It also says here, if she fails to appear, she gets 90 days. I didn't even know about that. I didn't know about that either. So the judge made his decision known, and that's that. And the sheriff cannot come in there and usurp that. He can't do it. I, yeah, I see where you're coming from, Dom. I see where the judge is coming from. They shouldn't have, if that was the case, they shouldn't have let her go the first time. Well, again, she was let go without the judge knowing about it. This is true. I think the, the media pretty much blew that up. I mean, they probably could have got away without anybody. I'm glad it. it got blown up because she should not have gotten out of jail. She belongs in jail uh, for the full amount of days that she's supposed to get because that's what the judge wanted. Right. And she did not appeal it. Now, do you know, uh, of the five days that she did serve, is that going to count towards whatever she Yes. Now? Yes. It will? Yes. All right. So she has, like, what, another 18 days to go? Well, we don't know that. She has uh, another uh, 40 days to go, and she might get time off for good behavior, or she might not. All right. We'll see if she actually engages in good behavior. Yeah, I mean, she probably has a good lawyer, so... Well, so far, it hadn't done all that well for her. It hasn't done anything for her. No. All right, sounds good, Tom. Blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. one 800 tom is our telephone number. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, look at this. More news. That was happening everywhere. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, who, by the way, those of you who don't know, did not grow up with the name Villaraigosa. His child, he was Antonio Villar, V-I-L-L-A-R, and he married somebody named Raigosa, and they smushed their names together in the ultimate 
pussy move. I wonder if he'll still be via Ragosa. Says here that he and his wife of more than 20 years are separating. And a spokesman said that the family would be physically splitting up sometime next week. In a statement, Lee Ragosa said, Each of us loves our children more than anything in the world. And we are committed to working together for their benefit. I ask that the media and the public respect our privacy through this painful period of transition. Hey, pal, let me just say this. I really hate it when people like you use your wife and your kids to get elected. You use them in campaign posters and commercials, and you have them at press conferences and victory celebrations. At you, you shove them down our throat for months, if not years. And then the minute something, uh, some little bump in the road happens, you beg for privacy. Pal, these were not public figures until you made them public figures. And uh, we'll comment on anybody in your family that we goddamn well feel like commenting on. And uh, if you don't like it, uh, the next time you get married and if you start a new family, uh, keep the kids and the wife at home when you're out of the stump. Now, being out of the stump for Mayor Villaraigosa is very different from being out of the stump of your, say, Paul McCartney. That's a very different situation, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> Says your spokesman said that Viragosa was taking the weekend off. <laughs> See if he gets more ass than a toilet seat now. I'm the man, god damn it! Down on your knees! I'm the freaking mayor! He's taking the weekend off, but he's temporarily moving out of Getty House, the mayor's official residence. In Windsor Square next week. That's here in Los Angeles. The mayor will live during a transition period in his former hilltop home in Mount Washington. His wife, Karina, and their two teenage children will mutually remain, I'm sorry, initially remain at Getty House during the separation. All right. So this just came in. Mayor of Los Angeles separating from his wife. I, I want to see if he's going to separate his last name. Or is he going to? Is he going to keep his married name? <laughs> yes. Please observe their privacy at this delicate moment. Oh, shut up. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I told you, this is just a fun day to be at this job. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I've talked to a lot of women, and... Did you know that a lot of women don't like your show? Yes, I did. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, my God, I'll remember this day forever. Maddie, hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. It's just a wonderful day in L.A. Paris Hilton is back in jail. And I wanted to thank you because I have a feeling that all, you know, all the oh, we were blowing up at, the, at Rocky's office and... Uh, uh, the sheriff's office, I'm sure, has something to do, right? Yeah, what did you think of uh, Lee Baca's explanation, the sheriff of L.A. County? What did you think about that? I thought, oh, he was just, like, using a scapegoat. Like, oh, yeah, well, you know... What, I forgot what his explanation was. It was um, oh the med the medical explanation. He kept waving this piece of paper around, telling you he couldn't tell you what was in it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh that's bull bull. <laughs> and um, well, you can call him today. Why don't you give his office a call? Let him know what you think. Actually, I really like. Supposedly, she was all going crazy, and um, I heard from somewhere that she was actually going suicidal. I think it's all fake. I don't believe any of it. I don't buy any of it. Well, besides, you know what? Is jail should be scary, and you know what? Uh, if you're afraid of going to jail, how about you don't drive drunk? How else is she going to learn a lesson? This is the only way she's. You know, now she's going to obey every single law. I'm sure she's never going to run a red light ever again. I mean, it's the only way you're going to learn, right? By the way, yeah, you see how much she learned. Were you watching on TV this morning when they were waiting for her to come out? And uh, there were all these um, outdoor heaters being delivered and tables and chairs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The paparazzi apparently were saying that a party was planned for tonight, tonight, at her home. <laughs> and, you know, I live in the hills. I see, I, I've had parties myself, and I've had the space heaters delivered, and I've <laughs> <laughs> the chair is delivered and stuff. You know what's happening when that happens. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, she really learned her lesson. She was going to be at home, uh, at home serving her sentence at a party. 
<laughs> outrageous. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so the only thing that could make my day better is to get flashed by somebody. I've never, I'm a flashing virgin. Nobody's ever flashed me. I'm, I'm bisexual, so. Maybe you need I to put some. Wait, maybe you need, maybe you need to put something into the pot in order to get something out of the pot. But every time I notice to see who has their, I always watch to see who has their lights on, and it's like these weird, like, old ladies. I'm like, okay, you can't be a Tom Likas listener. Maybe, maybe. They could be. They could be perverted old Tom Likas listeners. You never know. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind next time I see some hot piece of ass with their lights on. Good for you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can you blow me up? Of course I can, Maddie. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. John on the Tom Like his Show. Hello. Oh, I'm going to be talking to you again. I know. I uh, No one seems to be mentioning the fact that this girl took the lives of others in her hands twice. And forget the fact that she's given the middle finger to the law. The normal person, you know, we all go out and we make a mistake. And the least that happens is we get ticketed. We have to, you know, we have to show up in court. But thank God we didn't take someone else's life. And this girl went out twice and just completely ignored the sanctity of life that she held in her hands those two times she went out drunk and driving. I mean, I know there's not a lot of innocent victims out there, but it's not up for her to decide. And based on that alone, she you know, she deserves to be behind bars where she's at. Yeah. You know, the fact is they pulled her over twice driving without a license. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, again, we're not talking about somebody who makes their living digging ditches. This is a quote-unquote heiress. If you're an heiress, you can hire a chauffeur. Okay? Done. Absolutely. It's just the, the, the moral fiber of her, her friends, her family, it's just, it's all laid to bear. We already all knew it. It's just, uh, it's ridiculous. It's a circus. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm loving listening to you on the radio, bro. Thank you, John. I take me out, Lacey uh, Peterson stuff. Oh, that would be tasteless, but uh, here we go. Ever. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Chris. Hey Tom, what's up? Uh, doing a radio show here. You busy over there? No, I'm a really good. I'm a really uh, big fan of yours. My friend Moses turned me on to your show. I respect everything that you do, but I do gotta disagree on this whole Paris Hilton thing. What exactly do you disagree about? But right. the more I listen to your show, Tom, everybody that's calling in, and you included, it just you guys all seem to be drived by your dislike of her. Well, in my case, that's not what it is. Although, and by the way, my dislike for her is mild. I just find her to be a mild annoyance. Uh, but what I will say is, I think no matter how much money you make, and no matter who you are. You should serve the time to which you're sentenced, and that's it. If you break the law and you're sentenced to do time, you should do it. And I don't care who you are. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I agree that this whole uh, sick thing is just, uh, I mean, it's a weak cover-up for her getting special treatment. But I agree with a lot of the things that I've heard from that sheriff. I mean, and you hear it everywhere. What exactly do you agree with that, 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 that Sheriff Baca that said? Kind of yeah, but the judge specifically said, in this case, no exception. See, but I, I th if you I've think got about the judge's judge, order right um, in front of me, and I'm reading from it. No work furlough, no work release, no electronic monitoring, no weekends, no city jail. And if she fails to appear, 90 days instead of 45 days. It's in writing. It's specific. Yeah, but if you think about that judge, and I don't think that he's going for publicity. He's not allowing cameras or nothing like that in his courtroom. I don't think that that's what he's going for. And not only that, the guy has been a judge for something like 30 years doing the same thing. But I think that Paris Hilton is just being that that stepping stone. Follow this to change, see? Well, if that were true, why didn't he let cameras in? Why didn't he give a press conference? I think he thinks that it's enough with just sending her to jail. Well, I mean, because... What, are you crazy? I mean, look, uh, remember the, uh, remember the, uh, what's her name? Uh, Anna Nicole Smith judge, that nut... The guy who was clearly auditioning to be the next judge that, on the People's yeah, Court. That judge was a, was a big camera. This over. guy, this guy's not like that. This guy, no. you, you don't even know what he looks like. No, 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 not at all. And I don't think he's doing it for publicity. But I think that him, I'm sure he's a parent like a. Parents out there all over Watch the world. Watch your mouth. You're on the air, you oh, idiot. Uh, don't believe that that uh, just. You know, all these young celebrities, they're role models to little girls. You don't know what he believes. He just said that no, no work furlough, no work release. He's making her an example. And in that sense, 
it's wrong. He has the right to make anybody an example if he wants to. He's a judge, and he is within his discretion to do that. And by the way, Paris Hilton had the right to appeal. Appeal, yes. And and she and she didn't. Yeah. She didn't. I think that whose fault is it that she didn't appeal? But I, I mean, I and like you said, this has been you know top story all over the world. All these shows that I'm seeing, all these news shows, they have these. I don't care. Shows, I don't care shows. what you're going to say now. It's irrelevant. The bottom line here is that if she disagreed with the sentence, or thought it was unfair, or thought she was being singled out, she had the right under the California State Constitution to appeal her sentence, and she didn't do it. I just think that that's there's... not our our problem. It's not the judge said what the sentence is, and she stood up and she said, "I'm going to serve my time." She said it. Yeah. So she should serve her time, and that's it. I don't know. I just don't think that it's that important for her to be in jail for. I mean, they're making her an example. It's important. It's what, it, what is important is when a judge says something that it is obeyed. It is called law and order. We need to have a lawful society. We need to. Yeah, I just don't believe that he was going on a. Uh, on law alone, I think that she going, had the right to appeal. appeal. Then, then fine. Then why didn't she? Then why didn't she appeal it? I mean, we, her whose fault was, is uh, it? Whose fault is weeks, it? Uh, whose fault is it that she didn't appeal? Uh, that's on her. Well, right. So, so you she. Know what I do believe that she she thought. That this whole jail thing would be like some big publicity stunt, and she would well, mind it. Well, then good. I hope she enjoys her time in jail. I hope she enjoys it. Yeah, but I mean, I she's getting she exactly what she deserves because she had the right to appeal the sentence, and she did not appeal the sentence. I mean, I just, I just don't think that she should be. Well, you keep saying this over and over. She agreed to it by not appealing. My whole thing with this judge is Do you that understand anything about the legal system? No, I mean, I... Be- Clearly you don't, because she had the right to go to a higher court to have her attorney uh, appeal this decision. She had the right to do it, and she didn't. Okay. So they, she has no business being out of jail. By not appealing, she agreed to the judge's decision. Okay. I just... I'm going by everything that I hear on the news. You get all these people. I don't care what you hear on the news. This is the bottom line. If she didn't appeal it, she then essentially agreed with it. All right. I don't know.